All right, guys, RM125, we're going to demonstrate how to pull a crankshaft in. Uh, Chancey had a really good idea about taking a rubber band to support the connecting rod in place so that as we, as we pull this in, we don't accidentally let the crank fall over. I love that idea. Uh, to, for right now, we're just going to support it with our hand, but we can get some rubber bands to do that for the future. So we're going to suck this crankshaft in. we got to move it about a half inch to pull it into the bearing, and we want to kiss the case. We can't hit this because we'll knock it out of true, right? Um, these are some factory, either Honda or Suzuki tools. I really like these because they're small in shape. And then uh, you would thread on here with the right size, but we need a piece of pipe to be able to suck this into. So what I do have, though, is I have a tool by k &L Supply. And what this is, is a universal tool so that you could use it on any crankshaft with just a bunch of different adapters that are going to be the right thread and pitch to your crankshaft. So looking at the tool here, this is just a piece of um, three quarter inch uh, pipe, uh, excuse me, bolt or all thread, if you will, I picked up at the hardware store. That's what this tool is sized for. The other one is the specialty one to the crankshaft. So KNL made every single one of these this size, your three quarter inch piece of all thread. Make sense? Yep. When I flip the tool upside down so you could see something here quick, do you see this notch right here? So that's what's going to lock this is it's going to lock that pin in there so that the crankshaft can't rotate. Make sense? And then we just suck it into this hollow pipe because this will be able to go all the way down inside here. Okay. Well, let's uh, go ahead and set it up here. Um, another thing we have here is a support base that the tool can rest against if you don't want it to sit right against uh, the engine here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little test fit here. I'm, I've got a nice, good, flat surface that I do not need this, um, this other piece right now. Make sense? So I can just simply thread this on. And the other thing I want you to notice is that I'm not using any wrenches. Okay? It's just on there like so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move this to a better position for me. I've got my notch lined up. Go ahead and get, uh, get on here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just hand thread this in until it bottoms out. No, no tools here. Okay. Since you're standing right here, Brian, you want to hold the rod? Yep. Okay. So I put this washer on here too, just so the nut wouldn't scar the tool. Does that make sense? Yep. Right here. You know what I mean? I don't want the flats to dig into, into that tool. So. so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this up. And do you see it moving in? Okay. I wouldn't use impacts or anything else on this. I go ahead and just let the tool do the work. And uh, you're going to see something else here. I'm going I'm to stop a little bit early and make a point here. Do you see this gap in between this web of the crankshaft and the engine case? Yeah. Okay, now here's something that's pretty important. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting it in. And when this bottoms, kind of listen, maybe you can hear it hit. If I'd quit hitting the bench. Okay. Okay, so it, it's snug. I'm up against that bearing, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take the pressure off the tool. And would you agree that that crankshaft spins? Yep. Some manuals will give a clearance spec to allow you to put feeler gauges down there to see what that distance should be. Here's what I know. When you put the other case half on, the distance between the other case will be identical to this. If you're trying to put something together and that crank has a bigger gap on one side than the other, it's not seated all the way to the bearing. Okay, so this is a pretty cool little hand tool. It makes it really nice and easy to be able to do this. How many people say think that they would prefer this tool over the heat? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I really like it. Now, Harley does make one of these where you can suck the Harley cranks into them as well. So that's it. That's how you pull the crank in using uh, the puller tool.